to my channel, No Way Jose. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. So I am excited for today's video. It's gonna be a Q&A about my military life. And as you can see, I got a bag of food, got McDonald's, and I'm gonna open up to you guys about my experience in the military on my channel. I have a video on an interview my brother did on me on his channel, so make sure to check that out too. But you guys asked me some good questions, so I'm excited to answer them for you guys. And let's get started. All right, so what I did with my food, I actually got a whole bunch of stuff. And what I'm gonna do, let me see what I got. I got um, 10 piece chicken nuggets, I got two cheeseburgers, and I got two McChickens, and one cheeseburger with bacon on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my hand in there and get whatever I get. I'm not gonna eat it all, of course, but let's see what I get. First thing we got is a cheeseburger. Before I get started with the questions, I want to tell you a little bit like about, I joined the military in 2016, but I didn't like at the beginning of the year, like when I was still in high school, but I didn't actually go out to boot camp until um, December 4th. So four years from today, exactly from today, from this day, this video is being recorded. And so I went to boot camp and all my training was all done in California. I'm from California, like at the end of my training, I got orders to Japan. And that's where I was the entire of my contract in the military. So, and today is the last day of my contract. So cheers to that. If you have a drink, cheers with me. All right, without any further ado, let's get to the questions. Let's see what the first one will be. My first question that I got is what countries did you get to go? So the countries that I got to go was, um, of course, Japan. I was stationed in Japan. And um, while in Japan, I went on a training exercise to Korea. So I got to go to Korea. I went on a training exercise in Australia. And those are just for training exercises. While I was there, I did a lot of traveling. And I went to Taiwan, Singapore, Thailand. Am I missing any? I went to a lot. So if I'm missing any, sorry about that. But yeah. And actually, um, my intro that you guys saw is a lot of it is from Thailand. And I think most of it's actually from Thailand. One of them is from Disneyland, Tokyo Disney. So, but yeah, most of it is from my travels in Thailand. And that was one of my favorite trips actually. Next question, how long were you in? So my contract is actually four years. So today I hit my four year mark and I have um, four years in active reserves, which is basically like four years of, you're not in, you're just like on call if war to go, some war were to happen, you know? All right, next question. Next question is, No, I never killed anybody, so now you guys know. <laughs> the next question I have, should I enlist in the reserves or go active duty? Um, that's a very good question, but that's actually like really up to you. Um, reserves, they go in once a month, like one weekend out of the month to train, and the rest of the time they're basically off. Um, they go through the same training, they still go through boot camp and all that. And active duty, obviously, you're going to be stationed somewhere and you're going to be working all the time pretty much. So you decide what you want to do. That's up to you. If you just want to like have a little brag there, like, hey, I'm a Marine, but at the same time, not do it all the time, then reserves is for you. I should have done that. <laughs> I'm just fine. I do not regret being active duty. The next question that I have is, what are the top things you liked and top things you didn't like? Um, yeah, that's a really good question. So top things I really liked, I really liked um, traveling. Obviously traveling was one of my favorite things that I was able to do in the military. And obviously I could have done it before, but um, the military really opened me up to that. So 
I'm really thankful for that. Another thing that I really, really liked was um, meeting a lot of people. I met so many people. I'm really close to all those people. Even now that we're all like in different states, we still communicate. We're still updating each other on how life after the military is going. You become really close with people because, I mean, you're like living, working, traveling, everything with them for the whole time you're in the military. So we create close bonds and I really like that. And something I really didn't like, or things that I didn't like, there's a list of those, okay? So, in Japan, when we first got there, things were really strict. Like, in order to leave base, you needed a buddy. And so, like, it kind of sucked, because, like, I'm really into tattoos. As you guys can see, maybe I can do a video sometimes on those. But, like, I didn't want to make someone come with me and, like, have to sit for, like, hours and just wait for me to get a tattoo, you know? But I had friends that obviously would come with me, but that was one thing I hated. And like the entire time in Japan, you had to like sign out in a logbook in order to leave somewhere, which makes sense and everything, but it's like, it's pretty annoying. And like to go places, you gotta ask for permission. I feel like I was just grown enough to like go wherever I wanted and just, you know, hang out and be responsible, which, it's understandable the way they don't, the reason why they don't do it because Marines aren't the most responsible people. So if you're going to join, just know that you're going to get in trouble for things other people do, which is another thing I didn't like. We got in trouble for things people did all the time. Like, I'm not saying that I'm a saint or anything, but I got in trouble for like, okay, every single one of my birthdays in Japan was dry, meaning that we could not drink because someone did something. You know, and like in Japan, the le legal drinking age was 20 and on my 20th birthday, we were dry. My 21st birthday, we were dry and it was by the same person, the same person who did something, screwed it up for everybody. But you know what? There's just something you got to deal with when you're in the military. You kind of got to get in trouble for other people's actions. It is what it is. Hey, this is not a question or anything, but this is my boy Castillo. We became really close in 29 Palms. That's one of the, you know, connections you make. That boy from Texas, you know. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to you. All right, guys, let's get right into the next question. The next question we got is, would you go to another branch? Mm, that's kind of a difficult question because, mm, mm, mm. You know, everybody jokes around. When we're in the Marines, everybody jokes around. I should have joined the Air Force. I should have joined the Air Force. And the reason why a lot of people say that is because the Air Force is a lot more relaxed compared to the Marines. And I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. Like, as much as I'm jealous of all they get and all that, just the people I met in the Marines are like amazing people. I wouldn't want to trade that for anything, so that's that. <laughs> All right, I actually got this question a lot. Why didn't you renew your contract and keep going? So my plan from the beginning was always to do four years. And so, yeah, I just kept to that. But obviously, once I was in, I just knew it wasn't for me to do 20 years, you know, because 20 years is what you usually do if you want to retire from the military. But I knew that wasn't something I personally wanted to do. So, yeah, for the reasons that I listed, the things that I hated, basically being babied, um, I feel like you couldn't get, I don't know how to explain it. Like if I were to do a lot of work and someone doesn't do anything, they get paid the same as me, if they're the same rank as me. And I hated that. So like, and I'm a hard worker, like I really am. Like I want to like work hard, work extra hours and get paid for that. You know, like how civilians do, which is why I'd rather work a civilian job. Like if I'm good at it, they're going to recognize me. They're going to pay me more. And in the military, I don't know. It's kind of different when it comes to that. Like, as much as I got recognized for my work, I wasn't getting recognized for my work, you know. <laughs> but yeah. All right. This is one like on a very personal note, um, but I'm actually pretty ready to answer it. And it was a, did you ever get homesick and how did you deal? Um, 
Actually, when I got orders to Japan, like that was the last place I wanted to go to. I actually like requested for all California bases and I ended up getting Japan. So that really sucked. But um, when I was in Japan, like I just wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the big change, which I should have known that big change was coming because, you know, I joined the military. I knew what I was signing up for, but I just wasn't mentally prepared for that. So when I got to Japan, I got really homesick. Um, I had really close, I have really close relationship with my friends. So like, um, that, that was really depressing, like saying bye to them. So when I did get to Japan, I didn't deal with it good at all. I, I wasn't dealing with it good. Like I actually was suffering a lot from depression and stuff. So... But luckily, you know, I got help that I needed. It was a struggle. It was a long journey to like get better from my depression because of being homesick and just in general wasn't happy being in Japan. But my friends in Japan did help me a lot. And after traveling and all that, like it went away and stuff, which my depression is just a whole different story, which I'm open to talk to about it. If you guys are interested to know about it, let me know. It's kind of hard to talk about. Like, if I go detail into it, I know I'll end up crying. Like, I don't want, I'm not gonna cry right now, don't worry. <laughs> but if I do go into detail about my depression and being homesick, I know I'm gonna end up crying on camera and I don't know if I'm ready for that. But if you guys really wanna know, like, I'm, I'm open to talk about it. And yeah, I'm, my goal, if I do end up becoming an influencer, if my YouTube were to blow up, Something I do want to spread is like the importance of mental health. So if you guys do want to hear about that, I want to open up because eventually if my YouTube channel blows up, I want to be completely open of everything I've been through, um, my anxiety, my depression, all that. So if you guys want to know, just let me know, comment down below. Our last one, um, this is actually my best friend. Biggest shout out to her, like, I appreciate you so much, like, literally, all of boot camp, we were writing back and forth, she actually just, the other day, she sent me a picture of our letters, I didn't know she still had them, so, yeah, like, thank you for all the support, thank you for supporting me through the military, even though, like, we were, like, so far away from each other, we still kept a close bond, and maybe even got even closer from being so far away, I don't know, thank you so much. Before I end the video, actually, I really want to thank everybody because I've been getting a lot of messages with feedback. Um, thank you to everybody. I actually have been getting a lot of messages with people giving me feedback, advice and stuff. And I appreciate that so much. Like, this is only going to help me a lot. I don't take any feedback personally, so don't be scared to give me feedback. I know already people have told me, you're not going to get mad, right? I'm like, no. Like, it's just advice and I take it really seriously. Like, I really am like... When people are telling me, like, don't be nervous, people are telling me, do this with your edits, I'm taking it, I'm, I'm doing it. So, thank you so much. So, if you see improvement, let me know. If you don't, let me know too. I'll get my shit together. <laughs> Alright guys, th this brings me to the end of this video. So, if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And comment down below what's your favorite part of the video. And also, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at nowayjose.98. And that will be my Instagram and my Snapchat. And, and that's it. Peace out.